say welcome back to the United States um, but things have not moved on unfortunately uh, the votes came in and were in favor of trying to continue with the American save however I have had an update we wouldn't be able to confirm any further details at this time I realize it's not an ideal situation to be in but because of how things may change at short notice during game development it's only when we know a fix is confirmed in an update we can provide more details that was in response to someone asking if they had any more updates on when this was going to be fixed so as of now they don't have any idea when this is going to be done which doesn't sound promising for being able to continue or even restart this save so I am sorry for those who wanted to see me continue in America. What we might do is we'll see how um, the uh, attribute less save goes. If that doesn't really sort of work out, maybe we can come back to this when they have actually fixed this. I also thought I would a break the news to you that sadly George King the Third here is going to have to bide his time, and the Americans have rebuffed us again, ladies and gentlemen. Will we ever take those colonies back? Do we really still want them after what they've done with them? Possibly not. So we're going to be going uh, attributeless, and I have been working over the last week in preparing the groundwork for being able to do that and trying to figure out what sort of statistics I'll need to look at. And obviously, I'll get you know the coaches and scouties, uh, scouties, scouts feedback on what the player's good at and what they're not so what they might be suitable for and I'm going to be relying more heavily on the star system which is not perfect by far from perfect it's going to be a challenge and because it's me obviously I'm going to start at the bottom no qualifications no playing experience so we're going to have to try and work our way up only signing people without knowing what they can do fun times anyway uh, I thought I would also use this um, short video, or hopefully short video, I'll probably waffle on for far too long, um, just to give my sort of, now that I've been playing the game a bit um, more, just to give my impressions on this iteration of Football Manager. And I have to say, for the most part, I am loving it. It is by far the best one that I have seen since I started playing the game probably about five years ago and most of what I'm loving is in the actual highlights themselves the the, the the actual matches although with one major exception which I'm not gonna harp on too much because it's not gonna be an issue I'm sure in about a year's time anyway so but yeah there's there's so many little things that happen like a couple of times I've seen on someone else's video I've seen with my own eyes in one of my own games when one of my players did it and it's a morally grey area for certain um, a tackle went in my player went down he's holding his leg writhing around like a wounded mongoose and um, he's not hurt at all he's basically play acting because he knows the bloke who's just tackled him on a booking and yes he did get him sent off um, so yeah not sure i can condone that behavior but you know we went on to win the game comfortably so you know three points to three points there's also loads of other little things like sort of when a, a player is running at someone you can kind of see them sort of drop the shoulder and just sort of i mean very chris waddle like chris waddle used to be fantastic at, at doing that he would be sort of like heading one way and then all of a sudden he'd just shift and leave you for dead um, and I, I saw one in a, a Zealand video that um, I was watching yesterday where a corner had come in and it sort of been semi cleared to sort of the edge of the six yard box sort of away to the side of the goal and the player back heeled it back towards one of his own players in the air and it's the sort of stuff you never used to see 
and they are so right with how many more animations they've got in this because of that source that they got of of player actions and stuff and it, it just makes the game so much better to watch and I can only imagine what they're going to be capable of on the Unity engine, which is going to be so much better than their in-house one. Which, by their own admission, was just limiting what they could get it to do. It was probably designed without the graphics really in mind that much and getting it to play a realistic game of football in the numbers. And then, of course, the graphics have to try and represent that. And that's also a little bit of a caveat to my one complaint which is, and you've seen me rant about it before, penalties. There are, and again, I, I saw in that same Zealand video, it was a perfectly clean tackle on the screen. The numbers behind were saying otherwise, and it was a foul, and it was a penalty. And so many penalties that you see where the tackle goes in, they just look like a perfectly timed tackle and very good defending. And the next thing you know, the referee's pointing to the spot. And it's it's just an area that really needs addressing, but it is not going to get addressed this year. I know that because it's just a relatively minor point, And with the whole thing shifting to a different engine next year, there's not much point clearing, clearing up this year, only to have to redesign it again next year anyway. Yeah, it's it's the one little, little bugbear. But, um, but yeah, other than that... Uh, it's going great. They, they are sort of ironing some bugs out, although apparently there is a thing about squad depth that they said they'd fixed that maybe they hadn't, where your players complain that you haven't got depth in a certain position and they don't stop complaining about it no matter how many players you sign in that position. Um, so hopefully that has been fixed or is going to be fixed very soon. Uh, but, but yeah, generally speaking, it seems to be a big improvement on Football Manager 23, and like I say, watching the matches is, is so much more fun now because of the little things that you see. And it's, it is constant, just little things. This is the thing. It's not sort of like, oh my God, it's such a big difference. But all these tiny little things just add up to much more than the sum of their parts and make it a much more enjoyable match to watch when you take out the fact that you know your team is just not doing anything you tell them and playing really badly it's a shame poor george here didn't last longer but um maybe like i say we can return to him later in the cycle so thank you for your feedback on the uh the, the last video um and i'm sorry that unfortunately i'm gonna have to through no real fault of my own in my defense go contrary to the feedback which wanted to keep going with the American one simply because it still doesn't work. So I hope you understand my reasons and um, I hope you enjoy the new save as and when it starts and uh, watch me struggle even worse than normal. With all that said, thank you very much for watching. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you soon. Or maybe not. Bye bye for now.